Hello and welcome to a new video on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this video, we will talk about two types of web services, RESTful web services and SOAP web services. And we will try to have a comparison between the two types of web services in terms of their differences and in terms of their pros and cons. Before we proceed with this video, uh, I will request you to please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you are able to get notified for any new videos uploaded in the channel. So if we talk about the comparison of the two types of web services, SOAP and REST web services, the first major difference that comes into the picture is that SOAP is purely XML based, while contrary to SOAP, REST supports multiple data formats including XML, JSON, CSV, etc. So if you talk about SOAP web services, whether it's the WSDL file, which is the description uh, of your web services that is also in XML format, and after that, any of the operations that you have in your web services for the request and response, for the success as well as for the fault cases, everything is in XML format. And on the other hand, if we talk about the RESTful web services, in case of RESTful web services, we have uh, flexibility and we can uh, choose different uh, data formats according to our requirements. And most popular uh, data format that is most commonly used in case of RESTful web services is JSON format. The second major difference between SOAP and RESTful web services is that SOAP is basically uh, not, uh, uh, not a transport layer uh, protocol, rather it's a messaging protocol. While on the other hand, if we talk about REST, REST is not a protocol, rather it's an architectural style. So REST is an architectural style that defines the architecture that how we are going to use uh, uh, underlying uh, transport protocols and how we are going to communicate using the standard HTTP verbs. On the other hand, SOAP is itself a messaging protocol and it has its own defined uh, uh, set of standards and uh, certain uh, structures that you have to follow in terms of the payload, in terms of the header and overall body of the messages. The third major difference between the SOAP and RESTful web services is that SOAP is considered heavy and uh, on the other hand, comparatively, REST is considered lightweight. The reason behind this is that SOAP, uh, if, you, if you look into the structure of any SOAP document, SOAP has its own standards and it has its own uh, XML based uh, structure, which contains the header, which contains the payload, and everything needs to be uh, structured accordingly. So uh, any message that we have to communicate with the SOAP web services will, have, uh, will be taking consuming more bandwidth. On the other hand, REST is uh, comparatively lightweight because in case of REST, uh, you, you you don't have to create that type of a complex XML structure. Also, for different cases uh, with different verbs, uh, you can utilize the power of the standard HTTP uh, 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 structures and HTTP uh, functionalities. Like you can pass certain parameters directly into the, in the in the get uh, in your uh, request parameters in the in the request uh, URL itself. You can have template or part type of variables. And also in the body, you can uh, pass your request in different formats. Like if you uh, pass a request in JSON format, comparatively JSON will be will be having uh, consuming less bandwidth compared to a tedious type of XML that you are passing in SOAP. The next difference that we will talk about uh, when comparing SOAP and RESTful web services is that if we talk about SOAP, we have the flexibility of using different type of uh, protocols uh, for the transportation of the messages between the client and the server. We can use HTTP and uh, we can use HTTP uh, with SSL, which is HTTPS. And in addition to this, we can use JMS, we can use SMTP, etc. But if we talk about the RESTful web services, uh, then in this case, we are limited to HTTP and uh, HTTP S only. So uh, we cannot use uh, other type of protocols as we have in case of SOAP. The next uh, comparison between the two is that SOAP has inbuilt validation mechanism, which I personally like very much. And this is one of the major reasons that uh, sometimes I prefer to use SOAP web services over REST web services, because in case of REST, it doesn't have any such inbuilt validation. So if you are familiar with the concepts of SOAP web services, uh, you might have seen that in case of SOAP, whenever client has to send a request to the server for uh, consuming any of the SOAP operation, there is a certain validation that automatically gets performed based on the structure, based on the 
uh, XST that has been utilized uh, when creating the visual file. For example, if you have certain enumerations uh, for, for, for a value of any uh, element, or if you have other constraints that you defined in your XST uh, when creating your web service, when creating your SOAP web service, in that case, all these validations will be performed uh, when and trying to uh, access that SOAP web service and when trying to consume the operations. So these type of uh, uh, inbuilt validations uh, help you a lot because in this case, you reduce the overall traffic that's going to be uh, hitting the server in case of this type of uh, validation errors, it will be immediately caught. But in case of REST, you will not have this type of uh, additional uh, invalid, uh, inbuilt validation. Rather, you will have to make sure that you're doing the validation uh, as, in, as part of your implementation in the server side. And only then it depends that what kind of responses, what kind of details for that uh, error message server is responding back to the client. Only then client will know what, what kind of problem it has. The next difference that we are going to uh, look in, into, take into the consideration is that if we talk about the learning curve uh, comparative to REST, SOAP as a higher learning curve, because if you want to understand the SOAP, you need to understand the XML structure, you need to understand certain uh, specifications about the visual files, you need to understand uh, different type of encodings that are associated with the, uh, with the SOAP messages. And also, if you want to secure it, you will need to understand the certain security aspects as well for the SOAP web services. On the other hand, REST has a lower learning curve. The reason is that REST is based on the principles and, and the HTTP verbs principle. So if you are familiar with HTTP, if you know how to send, post, get, put, and delete, and these type of uh, uh, requests for, for any uh, REST service, uh, that will be enough for you to understand. So comparatively, uh, I assume that SOAP will have a higher learning curve. But this can be different for certain people if, who are already from the XML, uh, who have familiarity with XML, and who are with a background where they have been working uh, con continuously with, the, uh, with XML style of uh, data. So in that case, they might uh, differ with this opinion. So if you think, think that uh, uh, you, you are also among those who think it differently, and you think that REST has a uh, higher learning curve compared to SOAP, uh, please uh, write it in the comment section with your uh, logic so that uh, everyone else also uh, gets an understanding that what different people are thinking about the learning curve uh, in, in comparison between SOAP and REST. Another reason uh, I gave, uh, uh, I added this point and gave a higher weightage to SOAP in terms of learning curve uh, is that uh, in case of SOAP, uh, there are additional uh, learning that you have to, uh, you have to uh, equip yourself, um, which are certain uh, tools. For example, in case of uh, REST, even a browser can uh, send a GET request, and uh, also in case of uh, any other type of request, uh, you, you can use any uh, REST client. But in case of SOAP, uh, there is a certain difference uh, if you are uh, going to implement a SOAP client from any programming language. And structure, the way you are going to create your classes, the way you are going to create the messages, and the way you are going to translate and that is going to be different and uh, going to be a bit more complex than the rest. And also, you will have to learn more tools and the tooling. Uh, for example, if you have to use SOAP UI, how you are going to do the stress testing, how you are going to do the continuous testing and unit testing, those things, you, you, you will see that you will have to learn more compared to the rest. So the next point that I added for the comparison of the two types of uh, web services that SOAP has WS security support, which makes it more secure and robust. And on the other end, REST security solely relies on the transport level hashing and any added data level encryptions. So this is something, again, a debate type of thing, because uh, uh, some people believe that uh, the overall uh, security that we can implement on a RESTful web service can even reach to a level of SOAP and it can be even more uh, robust than that. But on the other hand, uh, some people believe that because SOAP has support for the WS security and other WS features, so this makes SOAP more secure. So again, this is uh, uh, not uh, anything which is definite uh, and uh, there might be a difference of opinion on this. But in general, uh, if you are implementing SOAP web services, you get more uh, options uh, in terms of security 
and uh, at the transport level as well as uh, you can uh, use the other features of WS security and uh, you can make sure that uh, the communication that you, that is being done is more secure. For example, if you are using the REST web services and if you are uh, using the approach of passing your uh, request parameters as uh, get URI parameters, in that case, uh, everything is going uh, uh, through the URLs, including certain sensitive information. And unless you have uh, implemented the SSL at the transport level, uh, this can be another issue. So uh, these are a few points. Other than this, uh, this is not an exhaustive list of comparison. There can be many other things that you need to take into consideration, like uh, in terms of documentation. If we talk about the REST web services, we have Swagger and open API-based documentation, which makes it more, more convenient uh, in general. While in case of SOAP, you have to uh, use uh, the visual file as, uh, as the only information that has uh, the details about the operations that are part of the web service. And uh, if we talk about the way we uh, we can uh, handle these web services and we can uh, apply the API management on top of this. So in that case also uh, for the RESTful web services, this becomes more convenient compared to the SOAP web services. So that's it from this video. And uh, if you are still uh, in any doubts or not clear about any points, uh, you can uh, write in the comment section. I will try to respond to your questions. Uh, and uh, also, I will put a link in description for a post on uh, tutorialspedia.com where these things are uh, explained in much detail. Thank you very much. And uh, if you like the video, uh, press the thumbs up button. And also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon.